Thank you very much, <clears throat> Mr. Vice President. So I'm going to just take off from where I was at this podium a few days ago to kind of reiterate some of the things that the Vice President said, but to kind of connect the dots from where we were, where we are now, and where I think we're going to be. So you remember a couple of weeks ago when we talk about the fact that we were going to have a really bad week because the deaths, particularly driven by the situation in New York, were going to get worse and worse. But yet, as that was happening, we were starting to see some turnaround, some flattening, and some coming down. As you've heard from Dr. Burks and will likely hear more, that that is continuing. So what has happened is that the mitigation that we put in with the first 15 days and then the 30-day mitigation program of physical distancing worked. So it got us to where we are today. It is a successful formula. It is the basis for our being able to say that we can now think seriously about reopening America. And for that reason, we put together a carefully thought out and I believe well delineated and described program for opening up America again. And you know what it is. It's the guidelines that we announced a few days ago. Those very guidelines are based on a version of the successful formula that got us to where we are. So what I'm trying to say is that the program is not one that is going to be turn the lights on in America, we've finished. We're not. We have to proceed in a very careful, measured way. And if you look at the guidelines, they are careful and they are measured. There are certain checkpoints before you can even think about going into a phase one. And then things relax a little as you go into phase two and relax a little and you go into phase three. Now, we live in a big country and it's heterogeneous and there are different dynamics of outbreaks in different parts of the country. So the speed with which one can go from one to another at the point at which you can even begin to think about the phase is going to differ. So the one thing that I know the urge we all have to get out there and get it over with, let's get back to normal for a lot of good reasons, because there's a lot of suffering economic and otherwise in this country because of that. But again, as I pleaded early on weeks ago, I plead with the American public, with the governors, with the mayors, for the people with responsibility. Although I know one has the need to leapfrog over things, don't do that. Do it in a measured way. This is a successful formula. The problem is if we don't do that, there is a likelihood that we'll have a rebound. And the one way not to reopen the economy is to have a rebound that we can't take care of. So please, again, let me just close by pleading with the American public in general and those who are responsible leaders to carefully consider how we get back to normal. Thank you. Thank you.